Quarrel, the founder and CEO of Quarrel Joy Travel, a travel agency that specializes in all Disney vacations. There's so much information to know about Walt Disney World. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top five character dining restaurants while you are visiting Walt Disney World. I'll be sharing some more information after the five tips, so be sure to follow along until the end. That's just for you. Really quickly, a character dining restaurant at Walt Disney World means you are going to be sitting at a table, so it will be a table service meal, and you will have wait staff. However, the special thing is characters from the parks walk around and visit your table individually where you can take photos, you can have them sign autograph books, and you can have a fun conversation with these characters. But different characters go to different character dining restaurants, so let's jump right in. My fifth favorite character dining meal at Walt Disney World is located inside of Epcot in the Land Pavilion, and it's called the Garden Grill. It is a really unique character dining experience because it is the only restaurant in Walt Disney World that moves. You heard me right. It actually moves. It's like you're on a very slow Lazy Susan. The dining room is always moving. I don't know if it's clockwise or counterclockwise, I'm not even sure. I think it's clockwise. That's pretty cool. And some of the food that you will eat at the Garden Grill was actually grown on Disney property. At the Garden Grill, you will visit with these characters, Chip and Dale, Mickey Mouse, and Pluto. It's a really fun experience. Character dining meal number four is the Tusker House at Animal Kingdom. The Tusker House has a safari theme and the characters that come to you are dressed in like safari gear, which is fun. That's what their costumes are like. So you will meet Safari Donald, Safari Daisy, Safari Mickey Mouse, and Safari Goofy. My third favorite character dining restaurant is not in one of Walt Disney World's theme parks. It's actually inside of the Disney's Polynesian Resort, which is one of its deluxe resorts right outside of Magic Kingdom. Ohana is a character meal for breakfast and brunch. Ohana's is not open at dinner time for a character meal. It is open at dinner time as just a table service meal. So Ohana's breakfast and brunch are amazing. And you get to be visited by Lilo, Stitch, Mickey Mouse, and Pluto. And all of those characters will come around to your table while a waitstaff serves you family style skillets of eggs, bacon, hash browns, the best juice you will ever have in your life. Highly recommend the breakfast or brunch option at Ohana's with Lilo and Stitch and friends. My second favorite character meal at Walt Disney World is at Cape May Cafe. And Cape May Cafe is located inside of Disney's Beach Club Resort. This is similar to Ohana's where it's just set up for breakfast and brunch. Cape May Cafe is open in the evening as well, but that's as a table service meal and there are no characters for dinner, you're going to meet Minnie Mouse and her swimming beach e friends. They all have their swimsuits on and it is super, super cute. So you're going to meet Minnie Mouse, Goofy, and Donald. And this is actually a buffet where you can go up and serve yourself as much as you would like. So you've got the Mickey waffles to enjoy, your eggs, they make crepes. This is a really good value for a character meal. And my number one character meal while you are visiting Walt Disney World is Chef Mickey's. And Chef Mickey's has a character meal for breakfast, brunch, and for dinner. And it is located at the Contemporary Resort, which is just steps outside of Magic Kingdom. I don't know what it is about Chef Mickey's. The atmosphere, the characters, 
The fact that this is another buffet, so again, you can go up as many times as you would like. Mickey Mouse comes out with his chef hat, and he is there to welcome and entertain all of his guests. I love this character meal. I love the proximity to Magic Kingdom. It really helps me feel the magic of Walt Disney World. Here you will meet Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy, and Pluto. I've shared with you my top five character meals. I know that there are so many other character meals and actually one that you probably might be surprised I didn't share below. Like why didn't she share this one? I know it's so hard to choose. However, I again have some honorable mentions. This one almost made it into my top five and maybe it should have. And that's Cinderella's Royal Table. This is in Magic Kingdom inside Cinderella's castle. One of the reasons why I did, men did not mention it in my top five is because it does cost a little bit more than the other typical character meals. Most of the character meals in Walt Disney World take only one table service credit if you are on the Disney dining plan. Cinderella's Royal Table takes two table service credits per person. So because of this, it kind of bumped me out of adding it into my top five, Cinderella's Royal Table. Honorable mention number one. And then I have two others to share. One is the one that I recommend to clients if they can't afford Cinderella's Royal Table. It's an exceptional choice, Akershus in Epcot. Now Akershus is right outside of the Norway Pavilion, or actually is in the Norway Pavilion, right outside of Frozen Ever After. Akershus is an incredible character meal. Again, this one only takes one table service dining credit. You're going to meet princesses, but it won't be as expensive as Cinderella's Royal Table. Honorable mention number three is located at the beautiful Grand Floridian Resort, and that is 1900 Park Fair. Ah, oh, this is such a fun restaurant to visit. Such fun character. You'll highly enjoy that character meal while visiting 1900 Park Fair in the Grand Floridian. There are other character dining restaurants in Walt Disney World. I may not have mentioned your favorite, so if I didn't mention your favorite, please let me know your favorite character dining meal. When you go visit Walt Disney World, write it in the comment section below. Like I said, these are just my opinions. If you like this video, please hit the like or thumbs up button that's just below. Please share it with your friends who you know are visiting Walt Disney World soon or who want to go on a Walt Disney World vacation. And if if you're not yet subscribed to Coral Joy Travel, please hit the subscribe button below, that red button below. And remember, you can always get a free quote for any Disney vacation by visiting my website, CoralJoyTravel.com. I would love to help you plan your next magical vacation. I'll see you in my next video. Your Disney adventure awaits. Bye guys.